In this video, I will show how to make copies of the printed model. First, I'm applying some mold separator to the form cover. Then I clean the supporting form from any remains the previous casting may left. I insert the silicone mold into the supporting form and make sure that everything is in place. I'm using a fast casting polyurethane resin. It consists of two components which have to be measured precisely and steered properly. After mixing the components I have three minutes to apply the material, so I have to be time effective and precise at the same time. The material should be dispensed carefully into the small details, because at the deep parts air bubbles can easily remain. Some remains should be removed from the base of the mold, so the cover can fit tightly. The cover had enough time to dry, so I can fit it to its place. After properly positioning the cover, I use three rubber bands to fix the two parts together. I place the bands in a triangle form to keep the central hole free. For now, the first casting should be cured, so it's time to make the second cast. The first layer was for ensuring that the resin fills the fine details, while the second layer gives thickness to the part. To distribute the resin evenly, I have to turn the mold the proper way. This process highly depends on the geometry of the model, so it is unique in every case. After leaving it cure for half an hour, the mold can be separated from the cast. Some material from the base can be removed to give space for the upfilling. The plaster and silicon parts takes apart easily, but the model has a rough stone-like surface, so the form slightly sticks to the model, therefore it needs to be peeled off with care. After inspection, the model is ready for filling up with plaster and having some finishing adjustment. Let's see how does it look like. 